what's up? It's Monday. We got our sweat on. 5k, 30 minutes. Gotta love these stairs, man. Nice cool down after a run. It just stopped raining, so I had to get out for a quick, quick run, just to dust off the cobwebs. So yeah, I just went out for a quick run around the block, and uh, it's been raining pretty badly the last two days. It's Tuesday now, and we're about to head to the gym. We'll also jog there, it's about a five minute jog, or less. Um, but hopefully I'll show you a little bit of it, it's really cool. We joined it on Sunday we've been once already and it's super close super convenient and you, it also means we have access to the same brand of the chain across the city so they have different sized gyms with different like machines which i'll definitely try out because the one that's closest to us is quite small but yeah super convenient just gonna go for a quick workout and hopefully show you a little bit of it if i can Decent early leg session this morning, considering it was all with machines. I actually got a good workout. Also trained my tibial, tibialis, the shin muscle, and my hip flexors, just because with the running, I feel like they're getting most of the impact. What's not helping right now is that I can just smell freshly baked goods everywhere. <laughs> What's up? Welcome, welcome back to the apartment. I got a load of questions from people, both online and offline, I guess, mostly online, uh, after the first vlog about moving here. And I guess I'll just answer them to the best of my ability uh, really quick. Um, got some lunch here from Monoprix. They have a really good selection of like Asian food and sushi and things. So I got uh, small bowl poulet spicy and onigiri salmon teriyaki. I've never had an onigiri, basically, it just looks like a giant triangle of sushi, so I'm definitely down for that. So, the main question I've been asked as soon as I mentioned I've moved to Paris from everyone, both on Instagram and in real life, is do you speak French? And <laughs> the answer to that is no, I don't have a word of French really. I know I have a few phrases and I'm picking up things as we go along, but I really don't. I don't speak French. I didn't learn it in school. I actually learned German in school. So I'm starting from a baseline of zero. Um, but I didn't really let that deter me from moving here. There's nothing wrong with just making your way and trying to learn the language as you go. Um, in reality, living here in the last like two weeks, it hasn't really been a hindrance um, in a big way. To be fair, most people here speak English and we haven't really had any situations where, well, we've had a few situations where somebody doesn't speak English at all, but we've managed to get by just by using the word here or there that we actually do know um, in French. Like for instance, this morning, <laughs> this morning when I was on the way to the gym, a guy came over to me and asked me something in French and I just said, pardon, and I said, um, parlez-vous anglais and he just said no and just walked on to the next person to ask them 
So that kind of thing happens. And I do feel a little bit bad, like I feel like a little bit of an imposter considering I live here. Because that dude saw me come out of the apartment. So he probably assumed I was French because I was living here. But I didn't have a word of French, so it's kind of embarrassing in a way. But that is the goal, is to learn French. And yeah, we're starting from the basics. So hopefully if we just immerse ourselves and just try and speak as much as we can, it'll come through uh, slowly but surely. So Claire got a new phone, an iPhone. And before I link this to speaking French, this thing is in perfect condition, but it's a used iPhone from Swappy. I don't know if anybody's heard of that company, but it's an Irish company, but they're like worldwide now, I think. And we took a chance on her getting an iPhone from there. And it's honestly, it's like brand new, not a scratch on it. So really impressed. This is not an ad for Swappy, but this is like a new phone. And it was a good few hundred less than buying it new. So this is an iPhone 13 Pro in gold, 128 gig, and like top quality of their secondhand like rating system. So like really good. Anyway, the reason I say that is because that phone was out for delivery yesterday. And the one thing that's kind of awkward about getting deliveries is not being able to speak French. Again, that's an awkward thing about it. So. I was able to track the delivery on by email using the tracking link, as you would anywhere, but when it got to the time where the phone was nearly arriving, I did get a call from a guy speaking French and I had no French, except I don't speak French and he didn't have any English at all. Luckily I was outside the apartment at the time because I knew partly that it would be easier if I was just outside instead of him calling at the door and me trying to communicate through the intercom. So we were outside the apartment and we saw him coming around the corner. So I just like put my hand up and I had my phone and he saw me. So in that sense, it kind of was, it was okay. But if we ever have more deliveries coming, I don't know how we're gonna work around it if they don't speak English. So we're just gonna have to learn French because what happens if we're up here in the apartment and he rings and says, I'm outside or like how do I get in or something in French that I just don't understand <laughs> it's a little bit awkward but to answer the question do I speak French no I don't uh, but I'm gonna try and learn it so that's where we're at with that so we're on our way to Kmart for the first time how exciting also there's this going on <laughs> I just bought a Korean corn dog. <laughs> I hope you can eat this cold. I ate the corn dog. It wasn't bad. Probably would be tastier hot. But yeah, probably won't get it again, but it was worth it. I had ketchup with it, yeah. <laughs> so I'm cooking up some gochujang honey soy salmon to go with some of this sushi rice and we got the Japanese mayo so review pending on this because I've seen this on so many YouTube videos and yeah I, look, I watch a lot of cooking videos on YouTube and of Asian food so that's supposed to be really good back in the gym maxing out all the machines maxed out that one maxed out that one maxed out another one over there now I'm maxing out this one So we're going to Le Grand Mosque, which is very close to us, but check this out.
so we just stumbled across an actual baguette festival where they're having a competition who makes the best baguette. For the people who are going to make their concourse, so during the journey, you see, all that. Ok, et puis ce soir, certainement, ils vont, ils vont bosser. Bien, Jacques euh, est en train de mettre au four, donc on va aller voir. Two-fingered percussiveness of Nat Cole. Which each note has its own articulation, different substance. This is a little difficult to do if you haven't been doing it. Was that ever hard for you, or when you, the first time you tried that, could you do it? No, I couldn't the first time I tried it. Y'all impatiently waiting, it's like a AIDS test. What's the result? Not positive. Who's the best positive? Ain't no... So we just walked the length and breadth of Paris today, Saturday, and the steps are currently racked in at about 12,000 of those steps were due to us looking for a cover for Claire's new iPhone. And we found it, <laughs> we got it. Um, but yeah, we're wrecked. I was gonna answer one more question um, that I got from a lot of people about moving to Paris, and that is, have we seen many of the protests and kind of the rubbish and things on the street that have been like kind of on the news recently? Um, I'm assuming most of you are aware of the whole um, retirement age being changed and the protests and the uh, sanitation workers in the city going on strike and there's piles of rubbish everywhere. Um, we haven't seen any of that at all. No protests, no rubbish. If anything, one day we saw um, a demonstration by a group who wanted to promote nudity in the city and, and then on another day we actually saw, I'd say, more sanitation workers in a square, like, 100 meters than I've ever seen before working together. So, if anything, it's like the opposite, somehow. Um, I haven't really watched the news in the last couple of weeks regarding this situation here. Um, but if it's still being portrayed that there's protests and things going on, I really don't think that's true because we're not seeing it at all. And we're racking up some serious mileage around this city. Um, so, yeah. I guess that's just our experience. Lovely sunset. Um, I think I'm going to sign off the vlog there for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, probably going to just video for the next week again and upload another vlog. So if you're interested, stick around um, and check out the next one when it goes up. Planning on doing this every Sunday, just editing and uploading the weeks of the week's worth of footage. So yeah, subscribe if you're interested, and peace.